Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. In this lecture we will cover the equations of motion for spacecraft attitude control and uh, the controller design as well. Uh, what you can see on your uh, screen are the nonlinear dynamical equations of motion for spacecraft attitude control where uh, phi, theta, psi are the attitude rotation angles with respect to body fixed frame of the spacecraft and omega 1, omega 2, omega 3 are corresponding attitude rotational rates so omega 1 is the rate of change in the roll angle and omega 2 is rate of change in the pitch angle and omega 3 is rate of change in the uh, yaw angle and similarly we assume the diagonal inertia matrix for the spacecraft this is true for symmetrical cubic uh, spacecraft structures and here omega 1 dot is 1 over j1 into j2 minus j3 times omega 2 times omega 3 plus u1 where u1 is the thrust uh, vector or torque vector uh, along the roll axis and similarly here u2 is the torque vector along the pitch axis and u3 is the torque vector along the uh, yaw axis so we need to see how uh, to make MATLAB uh, simulations of these equations and how to design the controller we will get back to this uh, in a moment just before that I just want to show you some linear equations of motion as well so these are the equations of motion under local vertical and local horizontal reference frame so these are the, uh, the nonlinear equations are with respect to body fixed frame but here this frame is also fixed with the body of the spacecraft but uh, the difference is that this frame is a rotating frame so this frame is rotating along with the spacecraft and this is useful for the spacecraft which are uh, which have yeah, like communication antenna which has to point uh, continuously towards the earth so for this type of spacecraft these linearized equations of motion are, are very useful so here um, roll uh, roll angle rate is not just omega 1 it is omega 1 minus this omega naught times uh, psi which is yaw this is because uh, this is the rate of rotation in this orbit like the imagine a spacecraft which is uh, one face of the spacecraft or an antenna of the spacecraft is continuously pointing towards the earth as the spacecraft goes around the orbit it will be rotating like it to, in order to keep the antenna continuously pointed towards the earth the spacecraft will have to continuously rotate at an angle at a rate of omega naught this omega zero so then theta dot is equal to omega 2 and then psi dot is equal to omega 3 plus omega naught into uh, phi then omega 1 dot is equal to the same similar equations as we saw in the previous slide but there are some terms involving the rate of rotation uh, of the orbit LVLH the local vertical local horizontal orbit um, and then uh, we will simulate these equations of motion as well and then we will also design the feedback control so feedback control uh, are of different types for spacecraft and there are different uh, sensors and actuators that are used in the spacecraft as well like uh, inertial measurement unit star sensor sun sensor earth sensor and uh, reaction wheel control moment gyros magnetic bars and thrusters are the examples of some of the uh, actuators used for torque generation so this is the controller uh, how you design controller for the linearized model and the same controller will work for the nonlinear model as well so we will see how the uh, controller is designed and we will also see how uh, the equations of motion are simulated so for example let's uh, start uh, from here and uh, here we, this is matlab so i will just create a function file in matlab so function uh, nonlinear spacecraft dynamics and here first i have to specify the the inertia values so these will depend on the size of the spacecraft I have just taken these values out of some textbook so this is like j1 j2 j3 the inertia across different axes uh, this uh, is like a measure of how big the spacecraft is then I define omega 
like omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 to be the fourth fifth and sixth part of the state space and then controller design we will come to this uh, in a little bit uh, that the, i designed the controller using pole placement here and we will see how this is done so u is equal to minus k x and then phi dot is equal to omega 1 then phi theta dot is equal to omega 2 psi dot is equal to omega 3 omega 1 dot this this whole equation and then we have omega 2 dot omega 3 dot and in the end we return all of the six uh, derivatives of the states in the, uh, in the in our function so and then we have uh, to like uh, design the controller so in order to make the controller i am just uh, designing this control design function and this uh, for this i am using uh, this mu r and omega naught uh, because uh, this controller was uh, basically designed for uh, this type of this type of equations where there is omega naught so since this controller works for both type of models so that is why i am including these values and uh, this is just a just a gravitational constant and this is radius of the earth and uh, then i have uh, the the inertia of the spacecraft uh, some a1 a2 a3 because i need to convert this uh, whole equation into matrix form so i create the a matrix and then i also have the b matrix and then i use the the place command for the control design so i i don't have to use this as a function in this file uh, what i can do is i can just calculate the k from here one time and just copy the value of k into this this file into 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 this file so instead of calling the function uh, in this within a function this is not uh, the the best approach so once i have this uh, controller design uh, done then i can just uh, go here and uh, use the ODE 45 function in MATLAB and this function will uh, I'm just giving some initial angles and initial angular rates and I'm running this simulation for 10 seconds and here I can plot the angles in figure 1 and angular rates in figure 2 um, and notice this in the controller design in the pole placement I have placed the poles of the closed loop system at minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and minus 6 you can basically place the poles anywhere you want and you can also place the poles according to the requirements of uh, settling time, rise time and overshoot that you have in your uh, project so once we have this uh, the nonlinear equations done and this uh, script file done and we have this controller design done then we can just run this file and this will give us the plots of the angular rates and the so figure 2 is the plot of angular rates and these are the plots of angles notice this i have not put the, the grid on or x label y label because this just uh, you can um, get uh, how to put x label y label and how to make your plot more readable uh, through matlab tutorials on, on youtube and um, here you can see that uh, the initial angles uh, angles were initially not at zero so the controller is able to stabilize the angles within seven seconds and similarly the velocities have been stabilized to zero so this next we look at the uh, we we look at the linear part of the equations like uh, these equations and these equations we can just simulate uh, create a function and the linear spacecraft dynamics here we need the uh, mu and r and omega naught 
and these are the inertia values of space spacecraft along different axes this is control design same function as we defined like here again we don't have to define the whole function because uh, we just calculate the value of k one time and just copy the value in here instead of calling the function and then uh, use equal to minus kx v dot this is the this equation and this theta dot omega 2 all of these equations I will just write them down omega 1 dot omega 2 dot omega 3 dot these are the same equations that are written here and then we can just uh, complete this and save this and then similarly we can just have a script file like we did for the nonlinear case here the we use the ODE45 function for the linear function and give the same uh, initial conditions and um, then we can just plot the first three states which are the three angles and the next three states which are the three um, angular rates and we can just uh, run this file and this will almost the similar results because uh, the the angular uh, differences are uh, like the rotations are not uh, huge so notice this this linear controller will work only for small rotations like uh, you know in this case the rotations are like less than one radian so as for small rotations you can design the controller for using the linear method and it will work on the nonlinear uh, model as well but for the large rotations you will need some sort of uh, uh, the controller which is uh, Lyapunov method based controller and there are controllers available in the textbooks of the spacecraft dynamics and control for example if you look at this uh, V-Bong uh, it's a Bong V uh, so Bong V is the name of the author space vehicle dynamics and control you can just get the uh, controller for spacecraft in this uh, textbook or space mission analysis and design will give you the whole idea of how space missions are designed and what are the components of the space mission well thank you very much hope that this video will help you uh, if you are interested in carrying out projects related to spacecraft attitude